Hey coffee lovers, welcome back to Avon Drinks Coffee. Today we will review one of the first coffee makers I ever tasted, the Bialetti Mocha Pot. The Bialetti Mocha Pot is a classic Italian coffee maker that has been around since the 1930s. It is made from high quality aluminum, which is super durable and conducts heat very well. It is composed of three main parts, the water reservoir, the coffee basket and the collecting chamber. The bottom chamber is where you add the water. It is important to fill up to the safety valve to avoid overfilling. The middle basket is where you add your ground coffee. It fits snugly into the bottom chamber. The top chamber is where your coffee is brewed and it screws onto the bottom chamber to create a tight seal. The brewing process of the Bialetti Mocha Pot is simple and straightforward, but it does require some attention to detail to ensure you get the best results. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Bialetti Mocha Pot to make a delicious cup of coffee. But be sure to stick with me till the end of the video, where I'll show you some tips to never miss on this device. Start by filling up the bottom chamber with hot water up to the safety valve. Do not overfill it, as it can lead to uneven brewing. Add ground coffee to the middle basket. Use freshly ground coffee beans and make sure the grind size is fine to medium fine. The amount of coffee you add depends on your preference, but a good rule of thumb is to fill the basket loosely without packing it down. Fun fact, the inventor of this machine was Alfredo Bialetti. When he passed away at 82, his last wish was that his ashes should be stored in one of his smoke pots. The huge pot was actually the centerpiece during his memorial service. Crazy, right? Once you've added the coffee, place the filter into the water reservoir and screw on the bottom chamber onto the top chamber. Make sure not to burn yourself, as the bottom gets hot pretty quick. Place the mocha pot on your stove over low heat and make sure the handle is not directly over the flame to avoid melting it. The water will start boiling and it will create steam pressure that will allow it to pass over the coffee, through the filter and to the top chamber. As the water heats up, you will hear a gurgling sound, which means that your coffee is starting to brew. Keep an eye on the mocha pot and remove it from the heat source as soon as it starts hissing. Once the coffee is brewed, pour it into your cup and enjoy. Overall, the brewing process of the mocha pot is easy and it produces a rich and flavorful cup of coffee that rivals any espresso machine. With a little practice, you can master the art of making coffee with this classic Italian coffee maker. In terms of maintenance, the Bialetti mocha pot is relatively low maintenance and easy to clean. You can disassemble it, rinse it out and wipe it with a damp cloth. The only thing that you will probably need to change after several years are the silicone gaskets. They tend to crystallize over time, but mine are still working after 8 years. And here are the tips I promised you before. Make sure the water you pour in the bottom chamber is very hot, as your coffee will brew faster, thus preventing the coffee grounds from being burnt. Also, brew with the cap open, as you need to carefully watch the coffee flow. When the flow gets watery and steamy, your brew is ready. Make sure to use medium dark roasted beans as well, as they can stand better the extra temperature that your machine will deliver. This machine is a must-have in everyone's kitchen, as it is very well constructed, it may even outlast you. Also, if you're not a coffee geek, you can as well forget every tip I told you before and still get a decent cup of coffee every time. Remember that we're doing a series of the best budget coffee makers. Make sure to check out this playlist and like this video if you found any of this helpful. See you later.